subscribe now. EU debates. So um, the the um, former is, and I will repeat it for you, uh, is the case. Um, so we propose candidate status, and we know that then we have to work on reforms that are laid out, as I said, on the understanding that these reforms will be done. Again, the whole accession process is a dynamic process that can move forward, stall, or backwards in different, uh, at different speed. It's up to the country. And here, our expectations are very clear. You get the perspective, you get the candidate status, but we expect you to do these uh, reforms that are detailed out. And um, the second, or the, the first question you asked me, well, uh, the whole process shows how important the respect for the international law is. The international law that says very clearly that every country that is sovereign has the right to determine, to determine its own future and to decide where to go and what to do. And here uh, it is very clear that the European Union, actually a peace project, is the destination where, the, where Ukraine wants to go. And we encourage Ukraine to do the necessary steps. We are impressed by the fight of the Ukraine people for their independence, for their sovereignty, for the integrity of their territory. They are fighting for freedom, and this is one of the universal rights, the basis of our international law that we all have to respect.